I have become a foam white sea of bliss. I am a curling wave of God's delight, a shapeless flow of happy, passionate light, a whirlpool of the streams of paradise. I am a cup of his felicities, a thunder blast of his golden ecstasy's might, a fire of joy upon creation's height. I am his rapture's wonderful abyss. I am drunken with the glory of the Lord. I am vanquished by the beauty of the unborn. I have looked alive upon the Eternal's face. My mind is cloven by his radiant sword. My heart by his beatific touch is torn. My life is a meteor dust of his flaming grace. There is another movement which should constantly accompany devotion. That kind of sense of gratitude that the Divine exists. That feeling of a marveling thankfulness which truly fills you with a sublime joy at the fact that the Divine exists. that there is something in the universe which is the Divine, that it is not just the monstrosity we see, that there is the Divine. The Divine exists and each time that the least Thing puts you either directly or indirectly in contact with this sublime reality of divine existence. The heart is filled with so intense, so marvelous a joy, such a gratitude as of all things has the most delightful taste. And yet, of all movements, the one that perhaps gives the most joy, an unalloyed joy untainted by egoism, is spontaneous gratitude. It is a very full joy, very full. It is something that widens you, that fills you, that is so fervent. It is directionless. To feel simply happy to be quietly happy, a happy gratefulness, a loving recognition of the grace received from the Divine, a humble recognition of all that the Divine has done and is doing for you. Always joyfully accept what is given you by the Divine.
physically, materially, upon earth. It is in gratitude that one finds the source of the purest delight. It is very difficult to keep up your gratitude. For a time it comes very strongly and again it goes back. The pure flame of gratefulness must always burn in our heart, warm, sweet and bright to dissolve all egoism and all obscurity. The flame of gratefulness for the Supreme's grace who leads the Satak to his goal. And the more he is grateful, recognizes this action of the grace and is thankful for it, the shorter is the way.